individuality is a unique thing. And that is what you have in you. You're an individual. And this is what makes you special and unique. It does not only make you special, but gives you the self-confidence to stand out of the crowd and be who you are. Once you figure out what you are good at, then there is no turning back. All you need is to have faith and belief to reach your goals. So find out what you're good at. You know what? I have often heard people saying, independence is like a flower. It decides when to bloom and when to fade. What I mean here is everything is in your hand. You are the judge. And that is exactly why I'll be talking about five superb ways to be fiercely independent in your life. My name is Michelle and you're watching me on Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. Picture a person, I mean imagine a person who sits quietly in the class, never speaks a word, but listens to everything others say. Do you know something? That person wants to speak up and that person wants to present his views. But the moment he opens his mouth, he loses his voice. How sad. I cannot even begin to think what wonderful thoughts and ideas did that person have. Are you also somebody like that? Please, I say do not stop your voice and do not stop your thought. This is the very thing that makes you independent. Speak for yourself, stand up for things that you believe are wrong and be the light for the people around you. And that can only be possible if you speak up. There is nothing to be shy about. If you decide to speak up, that's your first step to being independent. Few years back, I had a friend of mine who had adopted a dog a really cute, lovely dog. And he loved to pet him and he would care for him a lot. But do you know that dog had a condition? The dog was blind. So every morning, he took the dog for a walk and the dog walked, touching my friend's leg with its body. Why did the dog do that? The dog did that to feel dependent because the dog was not self-dependent. He would have sometimes let go of the strings that was tied to its neck. That's what my friend did. As soon as he let go of the strings, the dog started to panic. And my friend didn't do this one. He did it many times. And when he started doing this regularly, slowly the dog started gaining confidence and he would walk to the park on his own and come back on his own. So all my friend did was worked hard on the blind dog. Don't we have something to learn from this? No battle can be won without a strategy and no job can be done without hard work. Dreams will be left as dreams if you don't apply it to become a reality. If you wish to be independent in life, you need to achieve your goals and you need to work hard and you need to get rid of the strings that are attached on the people who are around you so that you can believe in yourself and others can believe in you. So just like my friend who didn't give up on his dog, you should not give up on yourself. Start becoming independent and break the strings that hold you tight. Sometimes, wait, 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 wait. Many times we take things for granted and we delay our work, isn't it? I'm sure you have procrastinated, I have procrastinated, be it at our work or a promise to a friend. We often change our responsibility and tune it according to our needs. Well, whether you like it or not, this is what you call being selfish. You know, there were times when I laid back thinking, uh, I, would do thing, I would do this over the weekend, I would do this after the break. But you know what happened? All that happened was my work piled up. Believe me, this is one of the most frustrating places that one could be in. You really don't want to pile up your work because that makes you dependent on others. So pull up your socks, not too much, otherwise it will tear apart. But jokes apart, take charge, organize yourself, do it one step at a time and see the leap that you would take. 
This, my friend, can make you independent and make your independent life a lot smoother and better. So don't procrastinate, otherwise you will have to depend on those people who are ahead of you in the race. So start becoming independent by being first, being on time and being organized. Well, independence is not all about free falling with a parachute and screaming out loud, yay, with the wind in your hair. That's great, we all love freedom. But before you want all the freedom and liberty, I have a tiny suggestion. Stop asking your mom to cook for you and your dad to give you money. Yes, you heard me right. Being independent is more than free falling from the parachute and asking your dad for that jump. Of course not. You need to put in some hard work. We all have to put in effort to be entirely independent. You should learn how to drive, buy your grocery, clean your place. The least that one could do is to take care of themselves. And this will fit right in the puzzle and your way to go to become independent. In the world of silvers, be the pearl. Wait, I have a better one. Be the silver lining in the cloud. What I mean here is take the less traveled road. This means do things differently and creatively. You don't have to follow the conventional path and you don't need to be afraid to walk on a path where no one has ever walked before. Independence gives you the freedom to experiment and you might for that matter should grab all the opportunities to experiment in your life. Let me tell you a small story. Many years ago, there was a man who repaired watches, one like this. And there were a lot of painters in that city who drew beautiful figures and landscapes. And all he did was he used scrap as an old watches to make a statue. So those watches were actually not useful. And people laughed at him thinking that this man has gone mad. And until it was made and they realized that those statues turned out to be more beautiful than the ones they made. Because when the sun shined on them, the statues glittered because they were made of old repaired watches. And it looked like they were made of diamonds. And they were just spectacular. And the queen in that area was pleased by the man and she donated all the antique clocks to the artist and instructed him to make many more. The reason I'm telling you this story is that sometimes being off track, which means sometimes being different, can actually bring you, bring you on track. So don't be afraid to take chances. Don't be afraid to experiment. That's another step to being independent. Now that you know how you can be independent, always remember, you need to know how to take care of yourself. When you risk and when you experiment things, make sure that you take care of yourself and you will always have your well-wishers by your side and they will be a part of your journey. At the end of the day, stand by your choices and enjoy the freedom and enjoy free falling from the parachute screaming yay which is amazing but at the same time don't forget about the value of independence so happy becoming independent to you thank you so much for watching the session with me on skillopedia the place to learn skills for the real world eureka you know when you get that brilliant amazing genius idea that's exactly how you feel right happy elated excited but you know what? My mind, it really challenges me. I don't always have the best ideas, but I've realized there's a way of coming up with the most genius ideas each and every time. So what I've done is I've made you a video for you to come up with genius ideas in a foolproof and consistent manner. All you need to do is get onto Skillopedia and watch the video with me, Reema and you will learn how to come up with the most brilliant genius idea. How is it meeting new people for you? Think of it like a movie. If it was a movie, would it be a comedy? Or would it be a horror movie? Or an intense thriller? Well, actually it should be a comedy movie because meeting new people is filled with joy and energy. But if that isn't the case with you, then you need to watch this session with me where I'm going to share with you ways to attract new people in your life. But that's not all. 
we should also keep those new people in our lives and build the friendship up. So watch the complete video at Skillopedia, the place where you learn skills for the real world. With me, Michelle.